here we go again. Red Earth Creek Trailhead to Kananaskis Lakes. Eight days, probably 200 kilometers. Our original plan kind of lit on fire. When that happens, you just roll with it. It's gonna be awesome. It's the morning of day three. You can see the Egypt Lake shelter in behind us there. We are going to get on the trail. We only have to go something like, what did I say, seven and a half kilometers to uh, Healy? Something like that. Something like that. So we're not going to do that right now. We're going to go explore. We actually might go. Try to get on top of that thing over there. That's the Sphinx. I don't know if we're actually going to try to get for the top, but there's a, like a coal in behind it that we might be able to get up to. But uh, first stop's going to be Talc Lake. So that trail should be just down the hill here and across the river. Anyway, so we can get moving. Standing on the bridge, just uh, going over the creek below camp here. Looking up at our objective. Looks kind of tall. It's alright. Should be fun. It's a nice creek, actually. That's where you get your water at Egypt Lake. Beautiful water. And there's Pharaoh in behind us there. And that little basin there is where we were having dinner last night. Oh, was. That's where Pharaoh Lake sits. It's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, this looks like us. Talc Lake, British Columbia. Uh, probably needs more water. Let's get moving. It's almost 9.30 and we haven't even gone on the trail yet, so... We uh, probably have a long day coming, but that's okay. Long days are fun. We got nowhere to be other than Healy Creek Camp, which is you know, just up over Healy Pass. Um, so we're going to go try to do this little side trip, and then we're going to have to go back, pack up our camp, and then hike out. But I think it's only uh, maybe a couple hours to get to Healy, depending on how much time we want to spend exploring. That's going to be a beautiful little hike. Following the creek here, pretty much all the way up to Talk Lake. A couple kilometers in, about 10 o'clock. Little trail sign here. Talk Lake, straight ahead. The very the obvious and distinct trail. Uh, Red Earth Pass. Yeah, so you can follow this, hit Red Earth Pass, and that drops down onto Highway 93 also, just further south. So, when they were mining talc up at Talc Lake, they would bring it down here and then over the pass. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. I guess we should go up to the lake then. We're going this way. It's been nice, gentle walking so far. The trail's, you know, fairly obvious, <laughs> uh, but quite overgrown. Obviously doesn't get as much use as some. And we've been sticking to the trail. You could pretty much just walk along the creek bed the whole way if you're, if you'd rather. Um, but we wanted nice soft dirt to put our feet on instead of rock, because there's gonna be plenty of rock up ahead. Here we go. Starting to go up. That's a beautiful little. Staircase waterfall. It's awesome. Pretty cool. Wow, 
bigger lake than I was expecting. It's a bigger lake than I was expecting. Talc Lake, or Natalkin, I think is the other name for it. And I actually used to mine talc out of it. You can actually see over here, there's a zigzaggy, switchbacky little trail heading up. And very cool. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a nice lake for it, actually. I don't have a towel, but. Yeah, it'll dry off. Well, how was that? <laughs> we took a little dip in the lake here. It was awesome. Oh, felt good to cool down and get some of the sweat off from the last few days. This lake is beautiful. It is. It's stunning. And the water is perfect. Like, it's just yeah, it's crystal clear. And <laughs> if you like swimming in zero degree water, this is the lake for you. Oh, come on. It's like two degrees. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty cold. I oh, tend to be I'm kind of a big baby when it comes to the cold. So I don't usually do that, but uh I'm glad I hopped in there today. I definitely sure. screamed when I went under. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, it's a little early for lunch, eh? Yeah, I won't be rehydrated yet. Yeah. Um So, next step, we are going to Try to find a way up into the little uh, coal in between these peaks here. That's the backside of the Sphinx. So we're going to get up into there. And if it looks pretty reasonable, we're just going to scramble up that. And it, from here, it looks like really straightforward. It doesn't look like much real exposure to worry about or anything. So it might happen. That'll be cool. Um, and it's if been not, an amazing day already, though. So. Yeah, if not, if we decide we don't want to go up there, then we're just going to drop down the other side of the coal down to Mummy Lake and. Uh, yeah, back down. work our way back from there. Awesome day. This this is a worthwhile detour for sure. This lake is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so. And the walk in is quite nice too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very pleasant. Huh? Yeah, if it was up at Egypt Lake, this one's worth doing. Well, the horse flies got the message that there's meat here, so they're starting to swarm in. <laughs> so we're going to keep moving. Found a faint little trail heading up towards the ridge there where we need to go. We're gonna follow that for a bit and see what happens. Beautiful spot, highly recommended. Very cold water, but refreshing. At least it's a nice day. And we've got plenty of hiking left to let ourselves dry out. Well, I'd say we followed the right path. It's just taking us straight up into the coal. It's awesome. That's super straightforward as far as root finding goes. Sweet. It's been a fun day. Still all kinds of cool stuff to do. Uh, here we go. Coming up to the pass. Having fun? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. It's pretty impressive. Right over here, I think we're gonna get some views down to Mummy Lake and Scarab Lake. Hey, look at that. Yeah. I guess that puddle is Mummy Lake? Not much to it. Is that Mummy Lake? I think so. But that beautiful blue piece over there is uh, Scarab Lake. Oh, maybe not. Wait, no, there's another lake over here. That's Mummy Lake. That makes sense. That's Scarab there's Lake. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, cool. Yeah. Scarab Lake is 
what's responsible for all the Egyptian names in this area. Uh, during the BC Alberta Boundary Survey, A.O. Wheeler, I think, um, saw it and thought it looked like a scarab beetle. Maybe when we get over here, we'll get a better view of that. Um, and then, yeah, everyone else naming features in the area just kind of stuck to the Egyptian theme. Yeah. Decide what we want to do. We might just be heading back to camp so we can move on over to Healy for the evening. We'll go up to Mummy Lake and then down to Scarab. And... Yeah, we'll definitely take that route back um, just to see the, the two lakes. But yeah, anyways, put the camera away for now. Enjoy the view for a bit. So, what are we thinking? I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it is about noon, and it'll probably be about 10 or 11 kilometers for us to take the path back past Mummy Lake and Scarab Lake. Um, or sorry, 10 or 11 kilometers, including up over Healy Pass to get to our other campsite. But we have to stop and pack up, and yeah, it makes sense to just save this for another day. We'll just uh, come out here and stay at Egypt Lake sometime. And, um, scramble this guy, scramble that guy. You can see the, I think, the approach road for Pharaoh right there, just kind of up that gully. Straightforward. straight forward. It just seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Which is why we're not going to attempt it today. We're just going to head on down, see Mummy Lake, see Scarab Lake, get back to camp, get everything packed up, and move on to the next campsite. All right, let's do it. Right. Oh, I think we definitely made a mistake coming down where we did. Should have checked the map first. This trail below us here runs that way to Scarab Lake and the way out, and then that way to Mummy Lake. So if we want to go see Mummy Lake, now we need to climb back up into that. Oh, that was a mistake. Should have just skirted along the top. Oops. Oh well, we made it down safe and sound, so that's the most important thing. And it's not going to be that much further just to go back up there and, and see that lake. So. Alright, Mummy Lake. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it took us a few minutes to get up here from where we met up with the trail, so I don't feel so bad about going down the extra distance. Oh, nice view from up here. It's actually a bigger lake than I thought it was. Probably not going to go all the way down to the lake shore, though. Not this time. Not this time. All right, Scarab Lake next. It's going to take us about 20 minutes, half hour to get there. So. Cool. Then lunchtime. Um, um, um. Here's our best look at Scarab Lake so far. We're working our way down towards it. The color of that water is just incredible. You can see uh, Whistling Pass across the way there. Came up yesterday. Whew. Pretty sweet. It goes between like almost being chilly to being piping hot. Yeah. The temperature just keeps fluctuating. Whenever the sun ducks behind the cloud and the breeze picks up, it's like, oh, cool right down. But as soon as the sun is out and the breeze stops, it's it's cooking out here. Anyways, let's get down to that lake, have some lunch. Man, it'd be hard to pick a favorite lake from today. I guess between this one and Telk. Yeah. Well, we look nice and all, but we were just kind of up above it and right down by it. Which one tastes better, Cosby? <laughs> Thank you. 
Is he? Oh yeah. What are you? He just grabbed a fish out of the water. Huh. Might have been a marmot. Uh, not a marmot. Uh, Martin or some sort of weasel. Mm -hmm. There'd he go. What are you? So cute. YouTube people, let me know. What was that? Well, this view doesn't suck. Wow. I'm glad we walked down here. Yeah. Well, that was pretty awesome. A little waterfall. Oh, not so little waterfall. Might have been my favorite part of today so far. Although swimming in Talk Lake was also pretty fun. Certainly plenty of flowers. This trip is coming up from Scarab Lake. This might be the most impressive field of flowers so far. up about uh, 320 ready to hit the trail again how excited are we to do more hiking <laughs> we just gotta head up over a Healy Pass Healy Creek campground that's where we're staying tonight so hopefully we'll get there around dinner time yeah anyways we gotta get moving we are starting by crossing over the creek, just like we did this morning. So we've come full circle. This time, though, we have great big full heavy backpacks on because we need to move on to Healy Creek Campground where we're staying the next two nights. Just worked out that way. That way to Talk Lake before. Now we're going this way to Healy Pass. Go climb up over Healy Pass. And, uh, yeah, just drop down. I think it's about three and a half, four kilometers on the other side. Gets us to Healy Creek Camp. And hopefully a nice spot for two days where we can uh, maybe do something fun tomorrow. Maybe we'll just end up hanging out and having a chill kind of a day. We'll see. There's lots more to explore in this area, obviously. But we're lazy, so let's see how it goes. It's been a really great day so far. Started out the morning um, chatting with a uh, through hiker, actually. It was uh, about three weeks, three and a half weeks into his Great Divide Trail through hike. And uh, he's, he'd done a couple of other trails already, uh, PCT and CDT. And he said it, it's just been some of the most amazing hiking he's ever, he's ever done. So we truly are fortunate to have this in our backyard. Here's a nice little view. It's the Sphinx across there. We're pretty much at the same height as that little pass that we went up over earlier. And down there, you can see Scarab Lake and that waterfall we were sitting on top of. Egypt Lake down and below that. It's pretty remarkable. This little pass just kind of up through there. <laughs> we walked all over that. That's wild. <laughs> it seems so huge from back here. Amazing. Alright. Oh, every time we stop moving though, horse flies start getting at me. So I'm gonna keep moving.
just about to Healy Pass. Oh, you can see those amazing peaks in behind me, where we came from, down near Egypt Lake. You can really smell the uh, smoke starting to come in as soon as we start gaining up this elevation. Getting a little hazy. Feel it in your chest. Breath. More so than I would be <laughs> just hiking up. That breeze feels so good. Oh yeah. Right down. That's awesome. I think we're pretty much here. Just over the ridge here. Should be Healy Pass. Attention. Seasonal trail restriction. Oh. Just stay on the trail. You have to stay on the trail. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we were going to do that anyways, so that's cool. Uh, to protect sensitive vegetation. Oh yeah, I remember reading about that. Um, because of the elevation uh, and the way this area like holds water and stuff, it um, can be really easy to damage. So they're very strict about keeping people on trail. I mean, his best practice anyways. A couple of groups of people up at the pass there. They didn't want to film while they're having their snacks. So originally we were talking about maybe coming back up here and tagging over this way and look at some of those trails, but since that uh, trail restriction is going on, it's not really an option. So might have to find something else fun to do tomorrow, which is fine. I gotta say, Healy Pass is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, don't really know what else there is to say. It's uh, pretty incredible out here. Uh, working our way down from the pass. It's a nice view of Monarch over that way. Into the monarch ramparts, this ridge going over this way. That is what we were originally planning on hiking tomorrow, but that trail closure. Now I'm super disappointed in that. Yeah, right? Doesn't it look awesome? Yeah, it does look amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I need to take another look at the trail closure sign and see if it includes that area coming from the other side. If there's a specific spot where it might actually be okay to uh, go up there, but um, at least up, departing from the pass here, that area is closed right now until the fall, so I'm surprised I didn't see that anywhere when I was doing research for this, because I saw them talking about those sorts of trail closures in this area for, um, like the Simpson Pass and uh, Sunshine Meadows areas. But I didn't see anything specifically about Healy. Maybe I just glossed over it. That's too bad. Because that looks like it would have been a perfect objective for tomorrow. Oh well, I'm sure we'll find something fun to do. Well, here we are. Healy Creek. Home for the next couple of nights. Not the most scenic campground in the world. You can this hear. This spot is nice and secluded, though. Yeah, go this spot kind of over closest to the creek here, so you can hear the trickle of the creek, which is nice. Would not have been our first choice to stay here for two nights, but hey, sometimes you just do what you gotta do. And you make the best out of it. Yep. Speaking of which, I'm gonna start looking at the maps figuring out what we should do tomorrow because it seems like our first option is not an option so look for plan B yeah. but first cocktails snacks yes well that was a fantastic day it was a fantastic day yeah what was your favorite part it's hard to choose one. Mm -hmm. I liked swimming in Talk Lake, mm. even though it was really cold. Um, I 
liked Healy Pass with all of the flowers. Mm -hmm. There's so many flowers everywhere today. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I liked sitting on top of the waterfall, the top of the bottom of Scarab Lake. That was and then cool. looking down and seeing Egypt like mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was an awesome spot. Oh, I also liked being on the top of Healy Pass and then seeing us in a boyne and where we were going. Uh yeah, that was cool. You can see it sticking out beyond all the other peaks there. Yeah. All in all, pretty awesome day. It's like nine o'clock and we're just, you know, getting ready for bed. And I sit up and read for a little while, I think, but, um... You were the only people at Healy Creek to meet. Yeah. At least so far, no one else has showed up. We've got the little camp area to ourselves. And we're here for two minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, us and, like, six trillion mosquitoes. No, they're not all mosquitoes. There's a few wasps. Right. Yeah. So, tomorrow... Do we decide? We didn't really decide. Mm -mm. We haven't decided yet. It's going to involve going up over Simpsons Pass, I think, whatever we end up doing. Um, but there's some lakes up there that we can go explore, or we can go over to Sunshine and do the Sunshine Meadow loop there. Um, it might be kind of nice, too. Yeah, I don't know. We'll kind of play it by ear, see what we're feeling in the morning. And see how the doggo is doing. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be up for whatever. He's out. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Not as well as night before. Really? Um, I woke up in the middle of the night and was convinced that there was a bear that was going to come and attack us. Oh. Hmm. Thanks for the heads up. Well, there wasn't a bear. Hmm. Did you want me to wake One you up? One of those imagination bears? Yeah. Did you want me to wake you up because my imagination was running wild? I didn't hear a bear... There's no sounds at all. Hmm. Yeah, it is. I find that... I think it was eerily quiet, and I think that's what my imagination was. Yeah. When you have a campsite to yourself, and it's just, like, dead quiet, that's when your imagination starts running away with itself, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were the only people here last night. And we were in the tent for eight hours last night. Eight hours, ten hours. Twelve hours. More like twelve, yeah. Twelve hours. Yeah. We're a little slow getting up this morning, but that's okay. We've got nowhere to be. We don't have to move camp today. Um, we're here for two nights. So, all we need to do today is go do some exploring and then come back. Eat some food? Yeah. Speaking of food. Hmm. Breakfast. Got some hash browns and sausage. And cheese. cheese. And some peppers. Nice. Smells good. Mm -hmm. All right, on the trail, day four. Yeah, I don't know how much to say. Healy Creek is fine. We would have rather stayed up at Egypt Lake for the second night, but it just didn't work out with our dates as far as um, linking up with the rest of the trail. So it is what it is. It is nice that we don't have to move camp today. So we can just kind of go for a little day hike. Um, we're backtracking along the trail we came in on, the Healy Creek Trail. When we hit the Simpson Pass turnoff, we're gonna take that up, go check out Simpson Pass, and then maybe go on to Aohippus. Not, not sure if that's how you say it, but 
E O H I P P U S Lake. Um, it's right at the base of the Monarch Mountain, which we saw from the Healy Pass when we were coming in. Looks real pretty, so we're gonna go check that out. Um, yeah, the only other option really around here is we were looking at going up to Sunshine Meadows. But we're heading up that way tomorrow anyways. So we'll probably just tag that while we're on our way out to Assiniboine. We'll over Citadel it pass. Because that's what's on the docket for tomorrow. The trail's pretty uh just treat in for now. So we'll bust the camera out again once we get up above tree line. I've got some pretty views to show you. Alright, Simpson Pass. Not quite as scenic as Healy Pass, I gotta <laughs> say. I mean, it's not bad, but he's a little nicer. So, Sunshine Meadows this way. That's the way we came in. Healy Pass. Up there. Oh, you can see the uh, markers there. We're kind of standing right on the BC Alberta border. At this point in the border, this is actually Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. First, first step into Assiniboine. We'll be seeing more of it tomorrow. <laughs> because tomorrow we're going to come back to this exact same spot. We're going to head up this way past Sunshine Ski Lodge, and then we're going to drop down into Assiniboine. That's where we're camping. But for today, we're going to head back up to Healy Pass, or towards Healy Pass, just for a kilometer or so. And we should find a trail heading off to that lake that I was talking about. Alright, let's get this going. You can see the Monarch over there. Very nice mountain. Um, and then coming off to the right here is the Ramparts. Um, so that connects up with Healy Pass. That's what we were talking about potentially doing, but since that area is closed for uh, the seasonal trail restriction, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, we could get up there still from this side and just do part of it. Just You can't go past the Banff border. Um, from what I saw on the sign there, the trail restriction ends at the border. So. Yeah, so I don't know, we'll see how we're feeling. It might just be a chill kind of a day. It's already like 11.30, so <laughs> we were pretty slow getting out this morning. So we might just go down, check out this lake, maybe take a little dip again, and then work our way back the same way we came up, save our energy. Tomorrow we do need to be up early, because we need to try to get to Sunshine Village by pretty early. Get our resupply and everything. Everything's a little hazy today. It doesn't smell real smoky, but you can feel it a little bit. My throat is scratchier today than it was yesterday when you could smell it more. Yeah. Yeah, so there's definitely a little bit of smoke lingering. Uh, but not too bad. Overall, air quality's been really good. Surprisingly good, actually, mm -hmm. considering. It's kind of neat. You can see kind of right where this little stand of trees stopped burning. Everything's green there and burned this way. That looks fairly fresh. Like the ground is still brown underneath. There's not a lot of vegetation back. There was oh. a fire here last year. I don't know if it's in this exact area. Yeah, I don't know if it came into this part. But there was one the year Close. before that too. Yeah. yeah huh. Two years in a row. Right. Yeah, you can see like the fire scar line kind of right there. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're gonna do a loop of the lake, I think. Just keep wandering along this way, all the way around, and then start heading home. 
home, back to camp. But I also need to find somewhere to stop, do some lunch. This feels like a decent spot for it actually with that breeze blowing in, keep some of the bugs off. Beautiful spot. Well, that was refreshing. Ducked into the water a little bit there. Didn't do the full dunk this time because the bottom here is like quicksand. It just sort of sucks your feet in and you get kind of stuck. So just uh, splashed around a little bit. Tried to get the dog to come in and go for a swim, but. He got up to his belly. He came in a little bit, but he's just, he's not a swimmer, that one. Not yet, anyways. Oh, so we're just gonna sit here for a few more minutes, have some lunch, hopefully not die from horsefly bites, and then uh, get on the trail. We're just gonna loop the lake, I think. So we're just gonna come around this way. Do a full loop. You can see that ridge there. That's where you could get up onto the monarch ramparts, heading up that way. Um, we're not gonna do that because we know that the other exit to Healy Pass is closed right now. We don't want to have to climb up there and then backtrack. So we're just going to loop the lake and then head back the way we came in. Right up that way. And head on back to camp and um, just hang out. Have a good, have a good afternoon. Oh, been a nice, gentle walk so far. <laughs> oh, I really want to eat fast now and get moving again because these horse flies are starting to drive me nuts. Anyways. Yep. Yep. Alright, go put the camera away. Have some lunch. <laughs> Oh, we just got buzzed by an osprey, I think. It was just burning just right along the water. Up into the trees over there. Oh, too slow. That was awesome. That was <laughs> We saw some people this morning, first thing this morning. Um, they were heading out to do some bird photography. Too bad they weren't there. They would have liked that shot, I think. hunting. It was only like three o'clock when we got back to camp, so today is laundry day. Scattered amongst the trees over there. Cousins over there. Passed right out. We wrapped him in his blanket to try to keep some of the bugs off of him because they're annoying. Yep, I'm wearing rain pants and it's like 30 degrees. Hmm. I don't think it's quite that hot, but. Okay, it's like 18 degrees. <laughs> yeah, at least they don't seem to be biting so far. Yeah, gonna do a little snack. Um, so, the rest of the day is pretty much just gonna be getting everything set up for tomorrow. We gotta be up early to get on the trail early because we're going to Sunshine to meet Danny's parents and have breakfast with them and get our resupply. And then we have to hike down into Cinnaboyne. Uh, Aug Lake is where we're staying tomorrow, so it's gonna be a decently long. Day, I think about 28 kilometers or something like that total. Yeah, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one. It's a probably pretty early night tonight, partly mm -hmm. because of the bugs and partly because it just has to be.